to talk about um, European policies on energy efficient buildings. Um, so we have four European directives which are relevant to buildings and also which are relevant to the products which are contained in buildings. Uh, the first one at the, at the big macro scale is the, uh, the energy efficiency directive from 2012. Uh, which imposes obligations on national and local authorities to make their building stocks more energy efficient. And this includes provisions for um, empowering consumers, giving them better information, uh, provisions for metering and billing of consumers and energy audits and so on. Then we have the uh, Energy Performance of Buildings Directive from 2010, um, recast in 2010 from the original one a few years before. Um, and this is the one that defines this famous NZEB, nearly zero energy building. Um, but it also uh, provides uh, for energy performance certificates. Um, and uh, it has other requirements for inspection of uh, heating and cooling systems in buildings and, and so on. Um, thank you because you are here. It's, it's good for us because it's not very easy to all of us who are for, from seven different European countries that were here and also have three very important organizations, the European and International supporting us. What is near a zero energy hotel? This is a green hotel in the picture. And our hotel is only energy. Oh no, hotel has other activities. It's consuming resources, our hotel. Look at these pictures. I hope you will happy them with them. Is this a near zero hotel? No, no cooling? No heating, uh, no insulation. This is something. This will is very cheap. This is zero energy hotel. It's not a near zero energy hotel. It was a discussion in the morning. This is near. This is zero energy hotel. And also, what is this swimming pool? This empty swimming pool. This is a zero swimming pool. <laughs> zero energy. No. No consumption. So, which is the choice? Which is the choice? The choice is, what is about the dark room? This is an, a near zero energy room? No, this is zero energy room. What about a LED? We have the LED lamps. No operation, no energy consumption, this is zero. No, this is not our case. Also, we discuss about energy. But what kind of energy? Near zero, zero, um, passive energy, uh, net energy, um, things like that. This is really a little bit a mess. The reality is that uh, the majority of the hotels, as discussed in the morning, are small hotels. They have no technical know-how. They have high operational costs. Um, they try to, to, to see sustainability, but they don't, they don't think about energy. They think about money, and they try to be green just as a tool for their marketing. Bonjour et bon après-midi. Merci d'être avec nous. Et si nous avons en grande partie encore des problèmes de changement climatique, Le cas du bâtiment est exemplaire dans ce qu'on peut faire et ce que nous ne faisons pas. Et si on ne réussit pas dans le bâtiment, je pense que la COP21 peut se rhabiller, si je peux utiliser ce mot-là. Le futur aujourd'hui, c'est l'urbanisation. Euh, en Europe, on voit autour de nous tout le bâti. Euh, il faut voir ce qui se passe surtout dans les pays émergents, dans les pays en développement. La population va doubler, quadrupler selon les pays, selon les régions. Au niveau mondial, on voit parfaitement comment l'urbanisation est en train de s'accroître et avec les besoins que ça la demande. Euh, il faut imaginer avec cela la consommation de ressources, les demandes des populations, dont le bâtiment. Il va falloir des bureaux, il va falloir des habitations, il va falloir des, infra des infrastructures pour tout cela. Et le tourisme en fait partie.